If you have not seen my video on how to get blueprints, you might want to check that one out first because obviously you have to have blueprints before you even need weapon parts. But once you get blueprints for modifications, you will need lots and lots of parts. Now assembling these modifications will ask for all kinds of materials, but there are nine materials in particular that you might not know where to find them. If there is a material you are looking for that is not one of these nine, you should check out some of my other videos. I have tutorial videos on every aspect of this game. The first item we are covering is gun oil. This one's kind of easy. You find gun oil from killing zombies at Bunker Alpha while on hard mode. These next two are kind of similar to each other. You can get plastics and high-tech components by recycling things in the recycler. Plastics are pretty common and easy to get from recycling lots of different items, while high-tech components are a little bit harder to get. The best way to get high-tech components are to recycle cameras and cell phones. These next three items are also similar to each other. The best way to get all three of these items is by recycling guns. Pretty much every gun in the game, even the zip gun, gives you these three items when you recycle them. These are the rarest, followed by these, and then springs are actually really common. In fact, you'll notice that all of your gun parts have been turned into springs. So I now have over a thousand springs, which I am doubtful that I will need all of those. The next item is glue. This may not always be the case, but glue is going to be one of the hardest items for you to get early on. Unlike many of these other items, I was not able to find a single item in the game that I could recycle that that would end up giving me glue. I was able to get glue from the red zone, and I hear there's a chance of getting them in all the normal places we go find things, but you do have to go find them, and it seems like a lot of modifications require it. The next item is this set of bones. You can find them from killing the witch, the blind one, and the big one has a guaranteed chance of dropping them. They are needed for the best melee modifications. If you do not know how to kill these three bosses, I have videos on how to kill each one of them. And then the last item is the lens. I personally have not been able to find the lens, and the research team does not have access to alpha, so we haven't been able to figure this out completely. But I imagine this is a rare item that you can get from red coupon crates or floppy disk crates. I'll let you guys know as soon as we know more. So those are the nine items that you might not know where they are, but the most important thing to remember when trying to have enough items to get the modifications that you want is to be careful on which modifications you invest in. These modifications are really expensive. They're worth it because once you research them, it's permanently yours, but they're really expensive, so only research the ones you really want. Otherwise, you're going to be wasting your resources on modifications you don't really care that much about. If you want to know more about which modifications you should choose, you you should check out my next video which covers what all of the different modifications do. Well, that's it guys. Hope that helps. Remember that if you need help finding an item that I didn't mention, you should check out some of my other videos. I have tutorial videos covering every aspect of this game. Also, please remember to like this video if you did in fact like this video. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.